Sean, and what a marvellous sight that is uh, for the organisers of the first ever tournament here in Canada as we welcome onto the uh, field of play Brazil on the left hand side uh, against uh, near neighbours uh, Argentina. Pristine surface of BC Place awaits Argentina and Brazil the second game on the first day here Argentina they're led by Gaston Rival, Axel Muller and Fernando Lunia their top try scorers they are the go-to men kicking off here from left to right in the traditional blue and white colors and Brazil well, welcoming them for the first time uh, this season on the circuit that's a uh, big Giuliano 40 with their uh, the headgear the Duque brothers Lucas and uh, Moises uh, the playmakers here and uh, they will certainly be uh, buoyed by a recent uh, victory over the USA in 15s uh, Taku Atsuki from uh, Japan is our referee my name is Wynne Griffith and I'm joined by Dallin Stanford Dallin good morning to you and uh, how great is this experience here at BC Place in Vancouver? Oh, it's absolutely brilliant. It's a wonderful weekend here, making history with the closed roof. And straight away, Argentina into the action. Into the action. We've just seen uh, South Africa post 43 points on uh, Scotland. You'd have to fancy Argentina here. Very experienced uh, side, uh, not to back to the, the best, perhaps, uh, of uh, 2004 and 2009 when they won. Uh, the uh, only tournaments both in the US of A. The ball spun out uh, wide here early on and looking for the opening is uh, Hermann Schultz, big uh, Hermann Schultz from the Tala Club in Cordoba, stretching the Brazilian defense because they've already qualified as the host nation for the Rio Olympics uh, in August of this year. They want to put on a good show, but here they've just left the back door open for Bautista Escura who opens the scoring uh, for the Pumas. Escura, wow, some great footwork from the young man. And of course they did an excellent job moving the ball from side to side. You need to do that to fix up the defense. And then when it's one on one, the left foot step twice in a row. There's nothing the sweeper can do. Absolutely rounded him. And that's the opening try. And what a good little dive as well on this beautiful artificial turf. Much softer than last week in Las Vegas. The players are enjoying it and straight away, Argentina on the board. Yeah, far more forgiving, isn't it, than the uh, the surface that I saw certainly on my screen at home in Las Vegas. And uh, the changing room apparently resembled more of a Burns unit uh, at one stage, yeah. And it's, it's good to see uh, the likes of Escura here wearing a vest under his shirt, thinking perhaps, well, uh, we're in for some trouble again here at BC Place in Vancouver. But no, that is certainly not the case. And uh, the general feeling is that it's going to be a, a great weekend of rugby on this uh, artificial surface, in which I saw being watered just uh, prior to the opening match this morning and that's the important thing of course with this type of surface that you do water it regularly so first uh, possession then for brazil fiori out uh, it goes a uh, little show there from uh, moises duki from the sao jose club in the sao paulo and argentina have it once again it's uh, going to be a second score and this time it's fernando lunia claiming his 27th uh, career try on the hsbc sounds world series his eighth of the season got a feel for brazilia they had possession they set up a ruck but then they left it unattended and argentina snapped onto that one and lunia gets a good score very strong ball carrier indeed gets that left-handed fan anybody watching see how he put the ball on the right hand side towards the touchline leaving his left arm free for the big fan. We very often see, don't we, even on the international stage, uh, the basic skills and uh, Winfrey Court is not holding the ball under the outside arm and very rarely do we see the inside arm uh, being used uh, uh, to hand off a, a, a defending player. But Argentina taking a firm control of this one, 14-0 their lead over Brazil. Argentina's best result uh, in uh, this season. They were cup finalists in Cape Town. They lost uh, to uh, South Africa. And they lost the plate semi final to New Zealand in uh, Las Vegas last weekend, sixth in the series. But uh, Brazil, well, they last featured in London last season. They're looking for a good performance here as they look ahead to the 
uh, 2016-17 qualifiers in Hong Kong next month where they will be uh, one of 12 teams uh, vying for that coveted 16th position on the HSBC 7s World Series. With the guest team here in uh, Vancouver. As Argentina come again, poor tackling, weak tackling from uh, Brazil. And Lunia is free on the right hand side, looking for a second score. On his inside shoulder was Nicola Menendez from the Lomas Athletic Club. That's a wild pass to the man with the flashy green boots, Secunda Tucolet. Neat little kick, with nice bounce. On the uh, Brazil 22, hauled down there by Lucas Romeu. But Argentina still have uh, possession through uh, Escura. It's a little labor at the moment uh, from. Argentina as Lunia strings up. Now the man on man. Echart finds his path blocked. Back into contact goes the captain Gaston Rival, swiftly picked up there by Escura. Brazil holding the defensive line. Great defense there from Brazil. They had to defend <laughs> so many different phases. And in the end, they get the turnover and a penalty as well. See some tired bodies out there. And they won't be used to playing at this level. And again, for six games in the weekend. Well, tomorrow will tell because uh, this sort of surface, it, it's hard on the joints. I mean, we saw last week, of course, the, the burns, the, the, the plastic burns on the, uh, the elbows, the arms, the knees. And certainly as the second day progressed, uh, there were quite a few casualties. But uh, what people don't realize is it, it may be forgiving in that sense, but it's unforgiving uh, unless there's a, a soft cushion underneath. The check by Giuliano Fiori at the lineout. The big uh, back row forward, uh, England based, England born even. Giuliano Fiori. Brazil are still camped uh, in their own 22. They've been inside their own half uh, for well, all of this opening period, Fiori. With a, a little show hand, sleight of hand. Argentina up very, very quickly. Good work there by the captain, Lucas Duque, finding uh, Gustavo Albuquerque almost up to halfway. There it is on the plate for Moises Duque. This is Lucas Rumer. This is much better from Brazil. Can they get the score that they're desperately seeking here? Martin Schaefer still on. Ah. Sure, that was the best decision, and as very often happens, playing right into the hands of the uh, the opposition, Axel Muller, like a steamliner, having to check himself, and Muller is away for a third try for Argentina. He's a big unit, isn't he, Axel Muller, from the Marista Club in uh, Cuyo Mendoza, just on the stroke of half time. Yeah, Muller rounds us off, but Brazil were looking so dangerous. Just a lack of patience here to kick that ball away. If they kept it in hand, they could have built a few more phases and perhaps scored their first try here in Vancouver. In the end, as you said, big Muller, he was the MVP at the Safari Cup Sevens in Kenya, and he gets another great score. So there we have it, we arrive at the break in Argentina, uh, three tries uh, to the good, three conversions, and they lead uh, near neighbours Brazil by 21 points to nil.
They've mentioned that uh, these two nations are near neighbors. Well, two good friends also in charge. Uh, Andres Romagnoli, the coach of Brazil, and Santiago Gomez Cora for Argentina. Uh, they were colleagues, of course, in that successful side of uh, uh, the mid noughties but now on, uh, on opposite ends of the park, so to speak. Of course, we saw that playing in the 15th competition, the America Six Nations. Brazil recording their first ever win against the United States, 24-23. And what that does is playing at a higher level. Gets, you personally get better, the coaching staff gets better, you learn from the opposition. And for them being on the World Series right now, getting a chance here is really fantastic for those players. And what a dream to play in the Olympic Games. It certainly is. And uh, the ladies' squad is on song as well winning the South American Championship for the 12th time, I think, uh, last weekend in uh, Sao Paulo. So Brazil get the second half underway, looking for their first score on this match and of the season on the uh, World uh, Series stage. Great crowd here in the opening day. It's a sellout crowd and... Uh, Away goes Lunia, just checking there, waits for the support and gets it, good hands. Batista Delgi, the replacement and the debutant here in Vancouver. A late call of the 18-year-old gets his first ever try on the World Sevens Series circuit. It was just a support play that was absolutely excellent. Brazil did a good job here to cover some of the runners. But then two deft little passes and then some fancy footwork there. That little goose step getting over the try. Excellent to see the youngster involved at such an early age. And that's what you want. You want to bring the youngsters coming through with some veterans around so the future looks good for Argentinian rugby. Argentina late arrivals here in Vancouver. Two late changes. In comes Batusta Delgi for Joaquin Riera and uh, Ramiro Finco for Santiago Alvarez. The only two changes from Las Vegas, and that's a try that young man uh, will never forget. Stretches Argentina's lead to 28 points without reply. against Scotland uh, in this group and Brazil will certainly target uh, the Scottish side as their first win although uh, Neil Powell the South African coach just said earlier on this week uh, that Brazil should not be discounted at all they ran a very strong South African academy that's um, uh, pretty close in Chile at the beginning of the year the nervousness perhaps in their play which is understandable Japan have been the invited guests for four of the uh, five tournaments so far this season. Yeah, we've seen Japan uh, tie 19 all with England last week, and that's the thing, playing at this level, Brazil will be relishing the chance. The first game, you just got to get the nerves out as well, and also your first game of the day on a long weekend, it's, it's really, you're not hitting your stride yet, so I expect them to improve in the Set. second encounter. Oh. The pressure being applied by Lucas Duque. A second wasted by uh, Argentina. And coming, looking for yet another score. They've just seen South Africa post 43 points on Scotland. Good work there by uh, the youngster. And the gap there for Ramiro Finkel. Yeah, good work there from the Brazilians getting over the ball. So. Hitting, hitting a line out to get the set piece play. Let's see how they've worked on this. And of course, the kickoffs are the most important because that happens the most frequent. But line outs are so vital when you have possession, you need to keep it. I think they're showing the fourth tournament. That's a, a fourth uh, uh, World Series uh, a tournament. Yeah, the experience on the. Uh, South American circuit and the Pan Am games, of course, taken again at the lineout by uh, Giuliano Fiori, standing at uh, six feet four inches tall, 194. So just uh, can't break through the discretion there from uh, Argentina.
inexperienced there now and this time perhaps stretching the Argentinian defence one way then the other this is Daniel Sonsuri another debutant here at uh, Vancouver oh it's a great run from the newcomer Daniel Sonsuri gets a popular try for Brazil wow that was absolutely he's got the celebration to go with it as well He's the one that downed the USA in 15s earlier this year, and he does it against Argentina. Bouncing a player, then fending. What a finish. One of the best tries you'll see on display here from one of the big men. He had a lot of work to do. Get through three players as well, and then switches the ball as well to that outside arm, stretching the legs. Glorious stuff. Sonsori. So he set a benchmark here for uh, his uh, twin brother who's just come onto the field. So it could be a double take when you see, there we go, 8 and 12 together in the same frame. Daniel Sonsori. He and his brother play rugby for Albi in the Pro de Deux, the second division of uh, French rugby. Oh, doesn't travel the mandatory 10 meters. It's a free kick on halfway for Argentina. Brazil breaking their duck. And we have a minute and a half or so remaining. All oh, this opening pool C class for both teams. Oh, the gap uh, presents itself uh, for Nicolas Brazzoni. 53rd tournament. Well cut out there by Brazil. Now then, the Argentine defense at sixes and sevens here. Fiori. Offloads, now we show and go. Brazil uh, playing with uh, far greater confidence uh, following that uh, try for Daniel Sonsari. Uh, there's the man of the moment. And here's the brother, the twin brother, Felipe. Still there, hands on the floor. That was a nice little breakout indeed. You wonder if they got any more brothers hiding away at home. <laughs> that would be great for the Brazilians. Well, they should have a great a telepathic understanding, as indeed do the uh, Duki brothers, although they're not twins. Nice little feature on the HSBC uh, Sounds website if you care to have a look at it. Uh, Lucas Duque, the uh, Brazilian captain. He's confirming the player he admires most is his brother Moises. So into the red zone at the end of this uh, opening encounter for the South American nations. Argentina with a firm grip. Can they get one more score before referee Yotsuki blows the final whistle? Held up in the air. Muller with the defensive good tackling again and uh, Brazil's fighting for every scrap of possession here. His advantage of coming to Argentina for offside. Brazzone spins it out quickly to Revol, and the gap opens up for Ramiro Finco. And that rounds it off then for the Pumas of Argentina. The fifth try for them, a solid start. Great ball from the captain, Raval, and on the outside. Just too many numbers to burn. It was bound to happen as the Brazilian defense was sucked in tight. And a good first game over coming up here for Argentina. Rodrigo Echat. With the conversion attempt, the flags. High in the air, that's a, a good start then for Argentina, defeating Brazil by 35.